Guys, I'm so excited to share the recipe of these eggless keto naans that I made today. They were flaky on the outside, slightly soft on the inside, just the way naans should be. You can have this with so many different keto curries. You can find the recipes on my channel. Let's make these naans together. We will start by preheating our ovens to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. So into a microwave safe bowl, take a quarter cup or 30 grams of mozzarella cheese, two teaspoons of plain unsweetened yogurt. We are going to heat this in the microwave for approximately 20 seconds or so or until the mozzarella cheese has completely melted. Using a spatula, let's bring everything together so it forms like a pasty dough-like consistency. Into that goes in one third cup of tightly packed almond flour which comes to approximately 40 grams. Next goes in a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch of garlic powder for more flavor. We are going to knead all of this into a dough and it is much easier to do it with your fingers. It's not going to work with the spatula. Very soon the dough will come together and it's not going to stick to your fingers anymore. Guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing for yummy keto recipes every week. This quantity of dough would be enough for two naans. Just shape them into balls and we are ready to roll them. I'm going to roll them on a silicone mat so they don't stick to the mat. You don't need to grease the mat before you roll it. And usually naans are in like an oval shape. So when you see the dough breaking a little, you can use your fingers to just maintain that oval shape. That is if you want to. <laughs> Make sure to roll out the dough slightly thick. Just to give you an idea, this naan is approximately 6 by 4 inches wide. Place the naans on a baking tray that is lined with parchment paper and we are going to bake these for approximately 5 to 6 minutes or until you can see that the naans have puffed up a little and these little brown marks come up. And while the naans are soft guys, slather them with some butter and also sprinkle some coriander leaves. You could also add some crushed garlic for extra flavor. Don't bake the naans too long guys, five to six minutes and you'll have these perfect soft naans. 